words. What are they good for? Passionately loving. I was thinking the other day about how I make these videos and they mean nothing. They're not useful in any way, shape, or form. They're almost an entire waste of time. But on top of that, I was also thinking about how women love it when you speak about them in generalities and not from their perspective and tell them what to do. I coupled all of that information with the hyperactive, extremely logical brain that somehow still yet belongs to a dumb person and you get this video. I have two friends. Here and here. And they're married and they're in love and they're great, great husbands and great, great men. And I aspire to be like them more and more every day. I do. I think they're phenomenal role models for me. They're in very similar, they're in a similar stage to life, just a little bit further along in similar ages to me. And they, they work hard. They provide, they are funny, they're charismatic, they're charming, they're good at their jobs, they're smooth, they're red-blooded Americans through and through, they love their wives, they have children now, they're role models that I look up to, and I'm looking forward to marriage. And beyond all those things, and I'm not speaking out of school, I don't believe, I would say that their wives believe that they've won the jackpot with these husbands. They've made it. This is what they want more than anything else. And they think they have the best husbands in the world. I don't want to say that I think that they're wrong because I believe that they have great families and that they're in love. But what if I told you that how we believe the perfect man for a woman to be is completely wrong. Let me show you. I've been into cosplay since like my junior year of high school. Um, so, about five or six years now. It's helped me like improve my social skills, so I've made a lot of friends because of it. Making costumes isn't cheap. There's just this level of gratitude that you get when, like not to sound conceited or anything, but like when like you're out there and people are like commenting on your on your costumes they're like um like you just get so many positive like there's just so much positive feedback you get like even if the costume doesn't look the greatest like people still recognize the effort that you put into it you could say that considering i've seen almost 200 different uh series i started learning from the anime that i watched i uh there's actually a lot of uh, I learned a lot of history from certain things and it not to say that it's exactly true I mean it is anime it's a it's a Japanese cartoon about well it's basically a cartoon like how many superhero cartoons do you see these things happening in real life so but a lot of it is based off of what actually takes place in Japan I've been dating my current girlfriend for four years all of those four years I've been watching anime and I mean, clearly I haven't scared her off yet, so... <laughs> um, I would say uh, just being able to have the memory retention to remember everything that's happened in a series that I haven't seen in four years uh, definitely helps with you know, for one, remembering important dates. Being able to, you know, like I said, being able to remember those dates, you know, it's important because I've met people who can't even remember their husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, they can't remember their anniversaries. It's like, how do you not remember? That's a, seems a fairly important thing you should be able to remember. Get me off drugs. It makes you seem like you know a lot because you do know a lot. I mean, you pay attention and you remember all the little details, which I think women like. After that impactful sit down with the boys, where we really just got the opportunity to dive down deep into what makes a nerd a nerd, let's analyze some of those qualities that they were talking about. Dig a little deeper. If you look closely at any of the things the nerds had to say, especially Carson, Carson talked about the ability that nerds have to just be rolling in cash 
as you can see, uh, he talked about how costumes for making the cosplay cost so much money. Cosplaying is a lot of things. People have said it's nerdy, people have said it's pointless, and again, I'm telling you that I think that those are all wrong. They really take time to plan out the things they do. They're thoughtful, and they're making sure that what they're doing and what they're making matters and is done well to the best of their abilities. And the last thing is they're dedicated. They'll pick a thing. I know for a fact that Carson has chosen to cosplay a character and has continued to update that character as the ongoing story for said character demands him to remake and redo pieces and pieces of his costume and he always has it ready for wherever the iteration tends to be at the next con. He's dedicated to get things done. Spencer, on the other hand, Spencer has the memory that is uncanny to anything I've ever seen. It is remarkable, his memory. He's seen 200 some different anime and I've questioned him on many and he's able to recall that. Birthdays of significant others, birthdays of anybody, dates that matter, the things that matter and even don't matter but because we're talking about women, they actually matter. Those things, nerds are able to remember more so than any of your stereotypical men. I didn't have the ability to uh, get Joe to open up as much as I wish I had actually, but the few questions I was able to talk to Joe and the things that he was prompted to say about the lifestyle that he lives being the type of nerd that he is was really interesting to me actually. Uh, if you look at the actual percentage of um, breakups, really hope that focuses. We're gonna see how this goes. It's kind of Jerry Riggin stuff. Took me so long to set this up. 95% of breakups are because of drug use, actually. And it's not a thing that a lot of people know. Nerds don't do drugs. It keeps them busy and occupied, off the streets, using their minds to further themselves and stay away from drugs. Nerds know a lot about things, and some people say that the things that nerds know a lot about are tedious, irrelevant, childish, ridiculous, unimportant. But to that I say, how much money has the Marvel movies made? Last time I checked a pretty penny, and last time I checked all nerd stuff. So I think you could argue that as far as cinema the last decade, it's mattered a lot. And he talked about how nerds remember things, even the small stuff. And I can tell you as somebody who's about to get married, the fact that I don't think about every little detail, I don't think about all of the small things, is something that makes Danny widely frustrated at me. I think if I did have the ability to think about those small things in the way that Joe does, then I would be a better person for her. I've seen Karsten change his body for cosplaying. I've seen nerds do remarkable things. I think if you were to break down what a nerd is, purest form, the simplest way that we can wrap our heads around it, it would be someone who's just the most into the things that they are into. So women, the next time you're thinking of who you might want to go out on a date with next, the next time you're thinking about the kind of guy that you want to be with, the next time you're thinking about, should I date this guy? Why or why not? And you go, oh, he's kind of nerdy. I want you to remember that nerd will never cheat on you. A nerd will always be so in love that you're talking to him. A nerd will be obsessed with the details. A nerd will be your biggest fan. He'll be the most into you. So as I approach the thesis to this, I guess what I'm trying to say is that nerds 
Yeah, nerds. A nerd is the perfect lover. Nerds are the perfect lovers. Nerds the perfect lover. They're the perfect lover.